So, uh, hey guys, welcome to the Shortwave channel, and somebody was asking me about uh, the deep uh, SDR-101 and a few questions, and uh, which is this little package, uh, which honestly, if it wasn't for the quirks and for the fact that it's not the best performer in the world, is it's exactly the form factor I'd like for an SDR. And if this was the perfect SDR, I'd have this with me all the time. I find this really cool. Um, what I'm hoping, because there's a, uh, an, an, another version coming of this SDR. So the deep SDR will have a version two, and that version two is supposed to have a better front end. It's supposed to have a better interface, better touchscreen, and um, hopefully, not having to press hard and tune this, turn this around to have the different functionalities. Uh, one of the biggest mistakes of this radio is the fact that, you know, they didn't include the fact that you could, you know, with the stylus, maybe choose the modes. It would have been better to just touch the screen where you want to do some stuff than have this button here that you have to press real hard to change functionalities like you see here. Uh, I mean, I got strong hands and I can tell you that playing with this for a long time, you actually get tired. Your hand gets tired quite quickly because the press, the hard press you gotta do is pretty pretty intense. Um, so, you know, hopefully this could be improved. I am curious to see version two and hopefully if they take all the different um, all the different comments and suggestions they hear all around. And if, if they use it themselves and see their flaws, uh, hopefully this could become an interesting product because honestly, this, I love the form factor. This is exactly what I'd like. Um, another question also concerning uh, the um, ATS-25. Got a lot of questions on the ATS-25 and I can't answer uh, most of them because a lot of the questions pertain to um, the different versions out there. So, so here we have 9395 that has some kind of program here. Sounds sounds like World of Radio, but in faster speed. So, what do I think of this? Well, this one I like. I already like, but of course there's a lot of things missing. And there's a lot of interpretation on what the buttons or what the options mean, and they all they don't often do what they should do for the type of button they are. Like the AGC on this thing is not an AGC. It's more like a, um, a RF gain. So, you know, they kind of use the wrong uh, terms to, to, to have it working. But overall, it's an intriguing and interesting device that I, th this is the ATS-25. Performance out of this is actually surprising. Um, but, you know, there's the ATS-25 Max, Pro, whatever. There's, like, tons of versions now. And they all have different features because of, one, they can program the interface on this thing, so it makes it different. Uh, the other thing is there's added uh, features that are probably on board because this is an Arduino. It's a small computer inside this, basically, with some radio capability around it. So sometimes they add features. I know that some of them have Bluetooth, for example, uh, things like that. Look, these are Chinese manufactured devices that are kind of interesting. And um, I think, you know, if, if you ask me the question, should I buy one? I would uh, probably tell you if you don't mind spending money and you just want to, out of curiosity, see what they are, it, they're fun to play with, but I would not recommend anybody that just wants the radio to buy these now. 
maybe someday there'll be one that is not too expensive that performs well and i'm going to say okay this is this is a go um but uh, they they are interesting and definitely uh I, I like playing with them, you know, uh, the kind of tech, techie guy that likes these original, these unusual uh, types of radios. So if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.